tell them the truth. Uh, my name is, is Yoshiki Kuihara. I'm a master degree student from Osaka University. Today, I'd like to talk about uh, compact data structures uh, for location based coding in LDL networks. First, I explain about our research goal. Uh, our research goal is uh, to design a location based coding mechanism uh, for retrieving data uh, created, created with location uh, generated by IoT devices. Uh, we call such data uh, location data. Uh, I pick up two requirements for this system. Uh, first, uh, this system should be scalable for, uh, enough to support a huge number of collectors and IoT devices. And second, uh, this system allow users uh, to specify an arbitrary size of areas by leveraging a data name uh, hierarchy. I said, why, I said one example application uh, using this system. Uh, it's a congestion, congestion detecting application. Uh, a driver asks uh, vehicles on two kilometers ahead how many, how many vehicles are there. Uh, for example, if you if, if you have a uh, left class, I uh, want to go area one, and uh, it wants to know uh, how many vehicles are there. So uh, it sends a request uh, to networks, and all all cars in areas uh, receiving this request. Uh, only one retriever is required required uh, based on real time. Uh, events such as accident congestion. Next, uh, I explain about uh, approaches for realizing this system. Uh, first, uh, how to specify location data. A location database has two attributes: uh, allocation, allocation, and uh, data type. And second. Uh, how to specify names of locations? A location is not defined as a point, uh, but as an area uh, where multiple IoT devices are placed. So we use, we use that order, uh, which express location with one-dimensional quantity numbers. And so, uh, how to retrieve, retrieve uh, location data? Uh, we realize much source retriever by leveraging a core based multicast protocol, nature of content oriented public subscribe system. And we design a perfect search uh, to support arbitrary size of areas. Following slides, I uh, explain our solutions. First, I explain how to design a name of location data. Uh, First, uh, we can use uh, we can choose a uh, road addressing system, road addressing system, or a geographical coordinate system. And then uh, we adopt a uh, geographical coordinate system uh, because IoT devices may also be placed in unnamed locations. Second, uh, similarly, uh, we can choose specific curve or code. XY coordinate system or coordinate system. And then we adopt a specific curve. Uh, the reason uh, I pick two, I pick, <laughs> pick up uh, this advantage of XY coordinate system and uh, advantage advantage of specific curve. Uh, in XY coordinate systems, uh, it is difficult uh, to specify areas. Of different sizes. Uh, assuming that uh, unicasts are requested to each area, a uh, multiple unicast message needs to be sent to multicast areas uh, when an uh, area of interest uh, is larger than the area size, the area size uh, supported by the XY coordinate system. On the contrary, uh, in space filling up, uh, it is able to space, uh, specify areas of different sizes by choosing the number of digits. 
and a marriage guest message can be sent. Uh, through the above discussion, uh, we design a location, uh, we design a naming scheme. First, uh, how to design a location name? A location name is uh, designed by using the order. The order is used, used to, to identify a location uh, using one dimensional number. Uh, the order is set of uh, quantity numbers uh, which represents our location. Each of square is divided into four squares recursively and they are numbered from uh, 0 to 3. Next, uh, we design a location data name using this location name. A location data is specified as the sequence of a location name and a data name. For example, uh, 300 hash dot camera specified uh, camera data in a location uh, in a square of location 300. Next, <coughs> I'll explain about COPS, which our protocol is based on. Uh, first, what is COPS? COPS is a multicast protocol uh, based on published subscribe communication. Uh, publish, subscribe, publish and subscribe packets rendezvous at the root of multicast three port, multicast three port uh, rendezvous node. Next, uh, I explain uh, communication. Communication is operated uh, by following the procedure. Uh, first, uh, subscriber sends up subscribe packets to the rendezvous node, uh, and each router records and each router receiving uh, subscribe packets uh, records the received content description in its subscription table. Subscription table is uh, forwarding uh, uh, data structure for forwarding. Uh, for example, in figure. Uh, R2 smartphone sends the subscribe packets to a different node, and each router receiving uh, subscribe packets records its CD in ST. And then, uh, publisher sends the published packet uh, to the random node, and the published packet is forwarded or subscriber uh, of its CD using ST. Uh, in figure, a uh, camera sends a published packet to the random node, and each router for the packet uh, according to its ST. <laughs> Next, uh, uh, we design a two way communication of requests and reply. First request uh, we use published subscribe communication. Uh, for multicasting requests uh, to IoT devices. Uh, first, IoT devices send subscribe packets to their location data name. And the collectors uh, send the published packets to location data, uh, location data name uh, of their interests in order to request uh, location data. At second reply, uh, IoT devices uh, receiving requests uh, reply location data using a different mechanism. Uh, for example, the collector subscribe to its uh, subscribe to its unique name like collector one, and IoT devices publish packets to it. And we design uh, our original prefix such room. Uh, the location data name matches the location data prefix. Uh, it's ST according to the following prefix such rule. And in location name, uh, the matches uh, location and uh, the matches location prefix in the ST as the uh, location name of the published packet as a prefix. And in the data name, the matches matches data prefix in the ST has the uh, data name of the published packet as a prefix. For example, uh, published packet. Uh, it's uh, which CD, whose CD, uh, 30, 
uh, Hashidat Amrapot is matched, uh, matched uh, left table column and not matched right table column. Uh, in the following, uh, following slides, I uh, explain uh, data structure for forwarding. <coughs> uh, first, uh, I explain our goal of uh, forwarding data structure. Uh, forwarding structure, uh, uh, we search uh, two types of prefixes and satisfy prefix search rules uh, for location and data prefixes. And next, I explain our approach to our uh, approach for realizing this goal. Uh, we use a uh, hierarchical tri tree, uh, which combines the location name tree, tri tree and the data name tri tree. And it copies a data tri tree of a location data prefix to edge nodes of the location tree satisfying the, the following condition. And the following condition is that the location prefix is the prefixes, prefix of their location prefixes. Uh, next, I explain more aggregation algorithm in following four slides. Uh, the problem is that a few size of ST of correlators. A uh, size of ST is a product of the number of location name and that of data name. And in addition, a larger ST is of, of correlators than those of attributors. <coughs> yes, uh, motivation for reducing ST size. Uh, we assume, assume, assumption is that IoT devices uh, densely deployed and each attributor has uh, all data name in ST. So uh, upstream data need not have data name tree. It's, for example, in uh, in figure, uh, randomly nodes and uh, other correlators uh, for the packet for the published packets uh, according to okay according to only location name. And the attributor for the packets according to both location name and data name. Next, uh, And reducing ST size of correlator. Uh, even if uh, I could explain about uh, aggregation algorithm in correlator, uh, remove uh, matrices corresponding to the least significant digits if they cover uh, 0 to 3 by leveraging the each digits takes at most 4 values 0, 1, 2, 3. Uh, explain more today. Uh, each upstream router operates aggregation in the following procedure uh, when receiving uh, subscribed packets. First, uh, focus on batches uh, corresponding to the least significant digit. Uh, in figure, uh, location uh, batches uh, corresponding to the location name. Uh, 0000, 0001, 0002, 0003 are uh, the least significant digit. And second, uh, remove a set of batches that are leaf no, uh, batches and has more shiverings than aggregation threshold. Aggregation threshold is a predefined threshold. And in figure, uh, the batches uh, surrounding the box is uh, is removed. And three, uh, it has to be repeat uh, to process it uh, until the corresponding batches disappears. <coughs> Next, uh, here is more aggregation, a uh, more aggregation, aggregation uh, by reduction of aggregation condition. And relaxation of aggregation condition is that uh, reducing the threshold, uh, aggregation threshold lower. But there, uh, there is a disadvantage of aggregation, 
uh, aggressive aggregation, uh, it is redundant packet forward. Uh, if aggregation threshold is set lower than four, uh, packets are also forwarding to edge routers uh, that do not have the corresponding location name. For example, uh, landing will not forward the published packet uh, in whose location name, 033, and next router uh, also forward the packet, but each uh, router receiving published packet uh, does not have a location name, 003. It's a bit of packet. Uh, evaluation. And our evaluation goal is uh, evaluating size of STs and uh, evaluating uh, high aggregation, high aggregation calls, uh, redundant packets for them. <coughs> and next, I explain uh, about simulation condition. The target area is a special word of Tokyo aside. Uh, assigned an um, eight-digit location name uh, to this area. Next, uh, networking topology is three depth, three route topology uh, based on uh, NTT East cooperation. <coughs> Next, IoT devices. Uh, 2.4 million vehicles are deployed uh, on realistic load in Tokyo. And one million sensor devices are randomly deployed. The number of the sensor <coughs> devices are proportional to the population of Tokyo. This slide shows uh, evaluation result, results. Uh, table shows the following results at each uh, aggregation threshold. Uh, average number of boxes uh, of location try three of SD at each router. And table shows are real that packet forwarding right here uh, in whole network. Real that packet forwarding right here, I'm uh, calculating uh, this formula. Real uh, packet forwarding right here is number of real packet forwarding, forwarding number of real that packet forwarded over number of total hall. And next, uh, our consideration. Uh, when aggregation threshold is four, uh, it is the number of vertices uh, to about one over six uh, compared with no aggregation uh, without increasing in other pockets. Also, in a sub condition, uh, succeeded in reducing to a maximum, num num maximum of uh, one over 15 with low number of real packet aggregation. <coughs> Finally, I conclude uh, this presentation. Uh, our research goal is to design a general location-based finding mechanism for on-demand retrieving uh, data from IoT devices. And our approach is to design naming scheme to specify uh, arbitrary size of areas and to design a compact data structure uh, for location-based forwarding. <coughs> our result is that uh, our proposal, proposed uh, method succeeded in reducing size of data, data reducing size of data structure by aggregating prefixes of location of locations by leveraging the hierarchical structures of location prefix, prefixes. Thank you for listening. Uh, do you compare with your proposed scheme to any other existing schemes at the benchmark? Uh, I the question is that uh, I compared this mechanism or compared with other mechanisms of uh, 
I did not generate uh, the generation based compared. But uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> 